morning. Morning hair, shower. So it is actually the morning of December 1st. So this is vlog list number two. What you saw yesterday was November 30th with the gingerbread houses, but today, it's not November 1st, it's no, December 1st. It's December 1st. Yeah, and we were just talking. We don't know um, where Joe's elf is. And Joe Snowflake. had, sorry, yes, Joe's elf's name is Snowflake. And for those of you that don't know, Elf on the Shelf, um, Santa sends an elf every year to look in on his kiddos to make sure that they're being good. So basically we have a little festive spy in our house for like 24 days. Yeah, it's every morning we kind of have to try to figure out where Snowflake's at. Josie said that Snowflake is not here today. I can't find her. Why do you, what did you say? Why do you think she's not here? Because of the COVID. Do it, do it, do it. We need some dramatic music. Some dramatic music? We need dramatic music. Da, 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 da. So is she social distancing then? Yeah. Joe said she thought she maybe stopped to find a mask that fit correctly. There's no wood on it. Are you sure she's not here though? She said she was late last year, but I don't remember her being late last year. She was. She came on December 3rd or December 2nd. So I she was late one year. I don't think it was last year though. So, I don't know. Elf on the Shelf is kind of letting us down this morning. Yeah. If mm -hmm. you find her, you have to let me know. Are you eating chocolate for breakfast? <laughs> Joe, it's not for breakfast. <laughs> you always tell me that it doesn't work. Have you seen Daddy? He eats all other kids right here. She loves our gingerbread houses. You she sure? Okay. She's on mine. Guys, we found her snowflakes near my gingerbread houses. Oh my gosh. So last year we had this um new thing apparently, and this is the um. Elfus Pet, she, um, I forget her name. I'm pretty sure I called her, like, probably something. I don't remember. Oh, well, at least give her a name now. Uh, I don't know. Horny. Ew, Peppermint. <laughs> Actually, that's what I named her last year. Is it Peppermint? Yeah, it's Peppermint. So, we found her. We found Snowflake, and then we found Peppermint. To make you happy. Are you on a two-hour delay today? Yep. Yeah, guys, look out the window behind her. It's not that much snow, but it's just enough where it's probably up it may to be like a little dangerous. Inch, yeah. One inch. Still really slick outside. Yeah, I don't think you'll get a cancellation. You just got a delay. Mm -hmm. Happy first day of Vlogmas. What better way to start than going in and doing a haul at Tractor Supply? Guys, Tractor Supply in the last couple of years has like really upped their game when it comes to Christmas decor for homesteaders or anybody that has a farm or agricultural interests. And I kind of live for it just a little bit, which is fantastic because I've had so many times where I couldn't get the ornaments I wanted or anything like that. It's a weird guy walking behind me. Where'd he go? He's staying away in my car. <laughs> oh, he's getting carts. That's just me being paranoid. Sorry, cart man. So <laughs> I'm going to actually take you guys in there. We're going to do a little bit of public vlogging, which is not my forte, not my strong point. Hate it. But let's see what we end up with because I actually need a couple things outside of just browsing to see if they have like cute wrapping paper or anything like that. But yeah, they have upped their game. Let's go.
it is nasty out there. It's like the first day of real winter weather here. I live in Indiana. I work in Ohio, so right now I'm in Ohio. We're both getting snow, and it's just like real wet, nasty, but I just got done in tractor supply, and I got almost everything that I need. There was one thing that I really wanted that they didn't have, and that is a flock block. But I'll wait till I get home in a safe place to show you guys what I got, why I got it, and yeah, I wimped out a little bit. There were quite a few people in there, and I didn't want to be one of those weirdos talking to my phone in the middle of an aisle, but I will get better at this, I promise. All right guys, we're back, we're home. We got back from our tractor supply haul and we got a couple of things for winter, a couple of things for fun, and a couple of things just because um, I like to give them to my animals. And some of the things I like to give to my animals actually have a purpose and some of them are just because I like to give them treats. So let's see what I got. First up, you guys already saw it. I got a Jolly Ball. Jolly Balls are like a toy for a horse, or in this case, a donkey. So I've been reading a lot online on how playful donkeys are, and Lola and Ren love to play together. They play a little rough, but I've heard a lot of really good things about Jolly Balls, but I have a couple of other really good ideas for homemade donkey toys, but that's for another video. But we got us a Jolly Ball, so hopefully I'll be able to put this out for them this weekend. Second thing that I got for the donkeys, but not really a conventional thing for the donkeys. It's a scalp massager. It's like, it, but it's, it's not for me. It's for my donkey's butts. So I was really inspired on Instagram today. I follow a page called Bosephus the Donkey. I'm going to go ahead and link to their page down below. It's really cute. Bosephus is like this, the most handsome, gorgeous, sweet, funny, friendly donkey on Instagram. And I love to follow him. And I noticed that Bosephus um, parents got him one of these for his butt. And he loved it. So I'm hoping Ren will love this. And then in time when Lola starts liking me more, she'll love this too. One of the things that I was out of and that I really need a lot of, especially during the winter, because believe it or not, guys, goats can get cold and feel kind of icky during the winter too. Not to mention, we're smack dab in the middle of our breeding season. If you haven't been able to follow our breeding season stories, they're gonna be linked up top. But one of the most important things to have on my farm, especially to kind of give a goat just a lift, a little kick in the tuchus to say, hey, feel better, is, vitamin B. Now I use the oral paste because sometimes it's really good to give it to them that way, especially smaller or younger goats, or if you don't like to give shots. I do carry B vitamin complex in my pharmacy, but that's for like older goats or someone that really, really needs it. And I don't want to wait for it to be ingested. I just want to put it um, right into their system via a shot. If you guys want to have a look at my pharmacy at some point to see what I keep on hand for my goats, Go ahead and drop in the comments below that you'd like to see that because it's something I'm pondering, but I don't really want to bore you guys. Next we have selenium gel. I go through this a lot. And the reason I go through this a lot is that I have a lot of goats and we are very deficient in my area. So I keep selenium on hand and it's really important for does that are pregnant. This helps with baby's development and keeps a couple of developmental issues happening but we've also covered that before in our past videos. If you'd like to see that, I'll link a playlist for kidding and preparing for kidding up top. The next thing is da -da -da -da, bounce back electrolytes. So goats can be like us a lot in the winter. I always like to add this, especially with sick or weak goats, because it just has a lot of electrolytes and supplements that kind of keeps them hydrated. I don't use this everyday use, but I do know some people that do during the winter if they're worried about their goats staying hydrated because if they get dehydrated, it can do a lot of bad things to them, just like it can to us. So you guys never get to see Bun Bun. Like, look at this face. Look at this face. He's adorable, but he doesn't get a whole lot of camera time just because, you know, he's like a bunny and he's a pet bunny. We don't eat him. We don't do anything really with him until 4-H. And during the winter, I like to give, well, not during the winter, guys. That little bunny is my buddy. So all year long, I get him these from Tractor Supply. These are basically like, just treats for pet rabbits. They go on a stick and they, and they attach to the welded wire on the cage for your rabbits so that it doesn't lay on the ground and they can kind of work it. Oh my gosh, my cats and dogs just want to be, they're so jealous. I'm talking about Bun Bun right now. But I like to give them these treats, but in the winter, 
it's cold out here. You guys saw, we've got snow on the ground. Winter came overnight and I've been caught with the proverbial pants down and winterizing my barn. Stay tuned for a winterizing your barn and coop video. But I like to give him these because they're packed full of protein and good um, nutrient rich fats that will help him stay warm on these cold nights. We do give him a lot of bedding and a lot of hay and a lot of food and fresh water, but these are just kind of like a little boost in this really cold weather. And while I didn't get this from Tractor Supply, I went to Walmart and I hit the mother load. The mother load. Pumpkins are out and Christmas trees are in. So Walmart had a whole bunch of pumpkins for like a buck or 50 cents. So I capitalized on that and I bought a whole bunch of them. The reason I bought a whole bunch of them, these are really nice trees for a lot of livestock. And while they do have preventative properties for deworming animals or preventing a parasite load, this is not a good treatment. If you're treating your animals for worms, don't just give them pumpkins. <laughs> Get a fecal, figure out what's wrong with them and treat the parasites accordingly. This is just a nice little preventative and again, a nice little fibrous treat for them. And of course, guys, I was talking about how cute like C-U-T-E, cute. The stuff at Tractor Supply is around the holidays, not to mention they've really upped their game in home decor seasonally, like winter, spring, fall, summer, even though I didn't do those in order. Huh. I had to buy some ornaments. Because what you guys don't know is we've got a Christmas tree video coming and I'm doing a theme tree. I'm just gonna say it, I'm doing a theme tree. And I needed to have a couple extra ornaments for my themed tree. So I give you one antlered reindeer chicken. His antler came off in the car, guys. We didn't wrap him. But thank goodness for Gorilla Glue. And then I got this wonderful windmill because as you guys will see on my tree, there's a little bit of a windmill theme going on there. Look how cute. I mean, who could say no to that? And one thing that I did buy and you guys saw was black oil sunflower seeds and corn. I buy that because around this time of year when the weather drops, I actually have to feed grain. There's snow on the ground, so my goats don't have access to a whole lot of forage. So that means I up what I'm haying them and I also start to supplement with grain feed. And black oil sunflower seeds, while great for does, not so much for bucks because of the um, minerals in them that can lead to urinary calculi. I give them to my does because it's got a lot of protein, a lot of good natural fats, and the corn is a nice um, metabolic. It kind of lifts their metabolism, keeps them a little bit warmer during these warm nights, but really doesn't have a whole lot of like dietary benefits to it. So that's why I brought those in. It means the feed bills are gonna start coming in, guys, just in time for Christmas. And don't worry, guys, I know I'm not showing any Christmassy stuff, but fear not. Don't know if I'm gonna hurt myself doing this, but. I can't do it. Ugh. I am just so gosh darn graceful, it kills me. But look, da -da -da -da! we have Christmas tights for Vlogmas. So I think that's gonna do it for us today, guys. Thanks so much for coming with me into Tractor Supply. Even though I didn't do a whole lot of talking because there are people in there that scared me. I'll get there though, I promise. It is my goal to improve on public vlogging just because I think it's fun and who cares what other people think, right? I mean, they're all just a little crazy, right? But that's gonna be the end of this one. If you guys found yourself enjoying the video, go ahead, drop me a like, leave me a comment and subscribe. Guess what? It's free, it doesn't cost you a thing and it's gonna make sure that you're committed to us and then if you turn on your notifications, that little bell looks kind of like this you'll get notifications when we have our next adventure, which will probably be tomorrow because we're doing like this old vlogmas thing. <sighs> Try not to kill myself with it. If you guys want to let me know what you keep in your barns or your medical supplies specifically for winter or what you like to go to Tractor Supply to buy, go ahead, leave it in the comments below and I'm going to catch you all in the next one.